This company's been around since 1898. They had a shipyard then that only serviced the company's fleet. Uh, several years ago, we decided we're going to turn that shipyard into a commercial shipyard. So about eight years ago, we started building new vessels. In order to build these vessels, we have engineers on site. We start with a concept design. From that concept, we do some uh, detail drawings, uh, loft all the material parts, get it cut, etched, labeled. So when we bring it into our facility, um, it's a big jigsaw puzzle. So all our welders put it all together. The aluminum project we're currently working on is for USGS. And they decided they want to build two brand new research vessels for fishing and hydroacoustical work. They're 70 foot long, 2,000 horsepower. The aluminum project was a, a, a new challenge for us. We never built any new aluminum vessels. Welding on aluminum is much different than welding on steel. To get the out of position welding that they need to do now, uh, they have to use a pulsing power source to really lay a good bead and get the penetration that they need. I gave them two or three days of training on just the power wave to make sure the welders knew how to use the equipment. And at the end of the day, uh, the shipyard made the decision to go with power waves uh, because of the easy use. They said that any welder with any inexperienced welder can pick that up and make a good looking MIG weld with aluminum. The uh, Lincoln Electric power waves to me are like the next generation. Everybody here has been working with the older type equipment. These have taken it to the next step. They're programmable with a PLC and uh, they have buttons where you can program the different sizes of materials and so it sim simplified the job for the welder and we've been really successful with it. We had several other uh, competitive aluminum MIG wires coming in here and at the end of the day uh, we were able to offer value to the customer. We've tested out I don't know, eight different types of welding wire, various different flux core guns, the super glaze, as far as production goes, has been the most productive uh, on this aluminum job that we're currently doing. It's, it's put out the best product. Uh, one issue with the job we're doing now, this aluminum boat, is it's a government vessel and it's 5083 aluminum, which has a very high tensile strength. And part of the welding test consists of pulling it to an attention test, and the base material has to break, not the weld. So the super glaze has, has worked out really well in that aspect. We had a lot of challenges and Lincoln certainly was uh, a big part of tackling the aluminum welding it, uh, the training for all our guys in the shipyard. They've been there at our door asking us questions and making sure they support us uh, in every way possible. The deciding factor to switch to Lincoln was the availability of support, the, uh, the, the new equipment for the aluminum outperform their competitors. We had the equipment here for several weeks to test both theirs and the competitors. Due to the support and the schooling they had available, the whole package, we determined we were going to go with Lincoln.